when I was about five, uh, my, my mother introduced me to crayons. And she showed me how you could draw on a window pane with a crayon. And uh, we had an oil lamp at that time. And so she showed me how you could take a rag and put kerosene on it and rub that crayon image off. And boy, I thought that was magic. So that was my first introduction to the art. I started uh, doing posters for churches, and all my teachers back then, they all said that I was pretty good at art, and that I should be an artist. So naturally, as people tell you more, and plus my grandmother was a very, very big uh, inspiration to, to my art career. And the more people tell you that you're gonna be an artist, then the more you ingrain that into you, uh, that, that that's what you wanna be. And so after a while, that was nothing else for me. I just had to be an artist. To, to talk a little further about my art training, we used to, there used to be a canning company. What they would do is they would buy the whole field from farmers in Athens, this, peak comp this uh, canning company, and then they would hire just about the whole town of black people to go out and pick the peas and bring them into the cannery and can them and distribute them. So, so if you lived in Athens, then you got the whole concept from the from from uh, picking the peas to canning them to distributing. So that's really where I got my my first training. I love to draw. I was interested in commercial art, but I wanted to reproduce some of my drawings. <clears throat> and at that time, uh, a line reproduction was kind of out of the question for us because it cost too much money to get it done commercially. process is uh, to draw on a stone with a lithograph pencil. And the lithograph pencil is a grease pencil. It looks kind of like a china marker. So you draw onto this stone, and once, it's, once you finish your drawing, you etch it. What I use is nitric acid and gum arabic. And you pull that solution onto the top of this stone. And what happens is the nitric acid actually opens the pores of the stone. You can't see it. It's a chemical reaction. But it actually opens the pores of the stone the gum arabic pushes the grease from the pencil down into the pores. And it desensitizes the non-image area. And all that means is as long as I keep it wet, I can take that roller and roll ink on it, and the ink only sticks to where I've done the drawing. What you do is you run it through the press, and you get a mirror image. It's a fascinating process. It's the only printing process that where you can you can produce a print that looks exactly like a drawing. But with lithography, you draw onto that stone and whatever you draw, regardless of how minute it is, it will print if you're if you're a good printer.